we're gonna get right into our Valentine's Day looks and this is a nine heel video I am NOT the female that wears heels however I love a good thigh high up the leg boots okay I'm a plus size girl so I need my thighs to be covered and I live in the Midwest so I definitely need my thighs to be covered but I'm definitely giving sexy I'm giving show a little thigh show a little leg okay show a little skin in this video you definitely want to stay tuned Hey, 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 sweetie family. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Feather Petra Denise, produced by Jenny Productions. This here's my sweet tea. Just tea, because it's tea does not mean it's got to, hey. And if you have not been here before, go down to the subscribe button. Click the bell so you can be notified because I drop videos every Thursday at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Now, the reason why you need to click the bell because I do drop bonus content. And when that content drops, it does not drop on Thursday at 4 p.m. So you want to be notified. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. Y'all, in this video, I am doing a Valentine's Day lookbook plus size nine heel edition. That is right. I do not wear heels. And just because you don't wear heels does not mean that you are not sexy, okay? And that's on period. If you do wear heels, you could take any one of these outfits and just replace them with heels. That's it. It's just that simple. I'm sticking to my boots. I don't mean Timberlands. I don't mean Spares. But I mean sexy thigh high up the leg. You know, we can show some skin type of boots. Okay? So the first look that you see here is a, a bit dressier. Okay? Um, none of these looks are like formal gowns. And I don't know how many people wear formal gowns for Valentine's Day. Because I don't. But this right here is a bit dressier the long sleeve turtleneck is from boohoo and then the plaid um suspender or overall type of dress okay so the plaid overall dress is from she in and then we have the tights that are from she as well and the boots that are from she in so this entire outfit pretty much is from she and it's very dressy it's very sexy now this look i definitely would would wear something like this for valentine's day now you can switch the um thigh high boots out for some kitty heels some um ankle boots or you know a good stiletto that is completely up to you moving on to the next outfit as you see this is a whole buffalo plaid look i have this faux fur um cropped like puffer jacket okay and the reason i said puffer because it is made like a puffer jacket however it is faux fur okay and it is cropped this faux fur jacket is from pretty little things and it like i said it gives you the puffer style but it's faux fur okay don't sleep on pretty little things okay the dress is from she and buffalo plaid is in and it's always going to be in and it's good for every season now i wanted to lighten up the shoes now i could have put black thigh high boots with them but i chose not to i put my white thigh high platform boots with them that i also got from she in if you have not watched the review on these white boots and the black boots I just showed you with the overall dress. That video will be in the description. I'll also put it here so you can watch that video as well because these boots are A1. Outside of that, I didn't pair it with a purse. I didn't pair it with anything else. These boots can be swapped out for a stiletto, a ankle boot, or a kitty heel. Whatever you're into, it can be swapped out for that. And that's the reason why I did this because... Um, the styles are spot on except I don't wear heels so you can always swap the shoes out for something else okay this is a bit more casual and I know a lot of women who dress really 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 casual okay long gray teddy coat that I also got from pretty little things and I'll be doing a video on some um, a haul that I got from pretty little things and this this jacket will be in it, so I'll go through the whole, how it looks, how it feels. Y'all know a whole review on it. And then I paired it with a sweater that is from the Anna collection from JCPenney. And then it is with a Cuban Link chain crossbody bag from Coach that I got from my girls trip when I went to New Orleans at the Coach outlet. Paired with 
jeans distressed black skinny lit jeans from boohoo okay and gray thigh high boots this is a very calm and um cool outfit for a female who's not really into dressing up but still wants to look really good really sexy these jeans are form fitting okay the teddy jacket it gives it gives a little luxury okay again you can always switch out the shoes for a stiletto or a heel this is definitely really casual however it is a bit more feminine than the last outfit and the reason why I did these two outfits like that because I get a lot of comments on women who you know don't wear they're into sneakers they don't wear heels um, however they really still like to dress fly like to dress cute so this is this is this is the look for them as you know accessories can always be switched out to your preference then I paired it with the Aaliyah rock the boat t-shirt that I got from Old Navy a black motorcycle jacket that I got from Rainbow the, this skirt I got from Burlington, you do not want to sleep on Burlington's plus size section, okay? Especially when you're in the bigger cities. So, I currently live in central Illinois, and the plus size section isn't as good as when I lived in Nashville, and it was just freaking amazing, okay? Freaking amazing. Then, I paired it with black thigh-high boots. These are from Shein with a... Um, cute little Michael Kors wristlet. These are the same boots that was in the picture with the um, um, plaid overalls and these boots literally go over my knees as y'all can see. It goes over my knees. I got thighs. I got thighs on me. They literally go over my thighs. These are definitely a great investment to your wardrobe if you are a plus size woman and you want to dress up your outfits I would actually wear this outfit if I was single and I didn't have a Valentine this would be like if me and my homegirls were gonna get together and kick it Valentine's Day this is that type of look I would go for not too much not too over top over the top still real cute still giving body however it would be a little bit more subtle last but totally not least I love this monochromatic look. I'm definitely all about the different shades of one color. So let's just get right into it. Um, blazers from JCPenney. Dress is from Ross. Ross in the South is amazing. Boots are from Rainbow and Louis Bag is for my husband. I really love this Valentine's Day lookbook. If you are a plus size girl and you're looking to dress up your outfits, Thaha Boots is where it's at. Now, tell me which outfit you like the best. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say the overall dress with the black turtleneck under it and the monochromatic look with the blazer and the dress and the Louis bag. Those are my top two favorites. If I had to choose, those are my top two favorites. But as y'all know, I make fashion content for the everyday girl, okay? If you know, you know. Y'all, if you have not been here before, go down to the subscribe button. Click the bell so you can be notified. I drop a video every Thursday at 4 p.m. That is right, at 4 p.m. You need to click the bell because I do drop bonus content. And it's normally not on Thursday at 4 p.m. Y'all, give this video a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. I am Forever Page of Denise. And y'all be sweet.